Hey, what's up, family? Hey, today I'm going to title this video, and I hate to cuss, but I'm going to say it just the way it is. So uh, if you don't want to hear no profanity term. But anyway, this one here, I'm going to title this one, Stop Bullshitting People That Have Never Bullshitted You. Because think about it. If that's what you are doing, it shows how you truly don't respect the fact that someone has shown and given you respect. Because I can't stand dealing with a person. Y'all understand what I'm talking about. I can't stand dealing with a person where as if you always showed up to this person's function, did right by this person, uh, lent this person money, or whatever good things or attributes you did for this person. And then now when it comes time to them to reciprocate, that's the word of the day, to reciprocate, meaning to give back like a reciprocating saw to go back and forth. You know what I mean? For them to give back what you gave into them when they don't know how to do that, you know what that truly shows? That they really never really respect you in the first place. They was only there to use you for what they could get. You get what I'm saying? So real simply put, like I said, stop bullshitting people that have never bullshitted you. See, if you're going to bullshit somebody, go bullshit the person that's bullshitted you. you know, or, or like the other saying goes, don't play me. Go play Lotto. It says it in the store. When you go by the store, when you go to play the lottery, it says play lotto. You want to play somebody? Play lotto. Don't play me. You know what I'm saying? That's the most ridiculous of things to do. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a story. I remember there was a dude way back in the days I used to encounter. I used to chill with whatever piece of crap guy. But anyway, this dude, I remember I never borrowed money off nobody. Never. Jokers would borrow off me, but I don't even lend money out no more. But anyway, back to this story. This, it just so happens on this particular day, I didn't realize I had my money on me. So I asked him, yo, yo, um, yo, you mind lending me $70, man? I'll get it right back to you later tonight, man. I just, I didn't realize I ain't had my money on me. Or whatever I had to do at the mechanic shop or whatever, because I know it was $70. Look what this fool told me. He told me, yo, man, no, nah, I can't um, lend that to you, man, because I got to ask my wife first. So I was like, what? Yo, man, stay, okay, see what I'm saying? Don't bullshit people that's never bullshit you. He said to me, yo, I got to ask my wife. I said, yo, my man, I'm asking you for the money. What you talking about? You got to ask your wife. You know how many times you borrowed money off of me? And I ain't never tell you I got to ask my wife. He's like, nah, man, but you got to understand, me and my wife, we both got the same bank account. And if I take that money out, she going to know that I took the money out. And then she going to ask me why you take that $70 out. So, like I said, title of this video Stop bullshitting people that have not bullshitted you. Now, check this out. Y'all going to love this. So, now he pissed me off. I said, what? You talking about you got to ask your wife? Listen, I've never had to ask my wife when you borrow money. But I said, but let me give you an even more important thing. I said, yo, when you went over that chick house last week and you paid her rent, did you ask your wife for that? Huh? Nah, I said, when you when I was with you, when you told me you had to go pick up this car at the mechanic shop and you paid to get her brakes done, did you tell your wife about that? Huh? Nah, when you, when you picked up the girl from the school and you paid her tuition, the little girl school for the school she was going to, did you tell your wife about that money? See, so like I said, don't bullshit me. Bullshit someone that don't know you. I know you. So you get what I'm saying? If you want to play somebody, don't play me. Go play lotto. Don't play me. See, I can't stand a person that you bullshit somebody who's never bullshitted you. So if y'all understand that story, you know, it should touch home with a lot of y'all out there if you know what I'm talking about. Somebody bull junk you with some stupid, lame story like that. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you another one. Now, this was on a professional tip. I remember one of the properties we was buying, right? Uh, we, we the, 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 the realtor guy, he, we set an appointment with him. We're supposed to meet at 12 o'clock on a Saturday. Now, me and my wife, we do like we always do. We, we follow that old pattern, and I love following that old axiom that says, being early is on time. Being on time is on the bare minimum, and being late is just not acceptable. So when he said 12 o'clock, we was there at 11.30, and we was patiently waiting. Do you know this guy gave us a call at 11.45 and told us that, hey, listen, I'm running a little late. I was wondering if it was okay that I could be there at about 2.30 to 3 o'clock. I said, whoa, 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 my man, I'm here now waiting on you. I stick by my appointments. I don't waste people's time. He said, yeah, but turns out I got another client. I live in Jersey, by the way. He said, I got another client. He's coming from New York, and his appointment is at uh, 1 o'clock, even though yours is at 12 o'clock. His appointment is at 1 o'clock, and he's running a little late. 
So I said, what, what that got to do with me? I'm trying to be as professional as he is I can. But he used this New York guy as an excuse to BS me. He said, yeah, but, you know, the guy's coming all the way from New York. You know, it's about an hour ride. And he just I just got off the phone with him before I called you. And he told me he just left the house and he's stuck in a lot of traffic. So right there, I very professionally and maturely said to the realtor guy on the phone, I said, listen, my man. I said, this is not making no skits, no is this is not making any sense that you're wasting my time when I'm not wasting your time. But that guy from New York is wasting your time. But you want to waste my time. I he said, no, nah, but you know the guy, you know, New York's always traffic. I said, no, listen what you're saying. I said, you made an appointment with me at 12 o'clock. I'm here. I'm not late. That guy just caught you just to tell you he's just leaving his house and he's, he sees a lot of traffic. He's wasting your time. But you want to bull, bull jump me and waste my time. I said, nah, man, if I got to get another realtor, I'll just do that. But you got to knock it off with this not making sense. You, you BSing me around because somebody BSing you around. Don't BS me around. I'm the one that's on time. You should stick by me. And after I broke all that down, you know, we talked as mature men and he had finally admitted, he said, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know where I had a mental block in my head. I didn't realize what I was saying, but you're absolutely right, Mr. Spinks. That didn't make any sense that I I was willing to make you, I was hoping to make you wait later when you're actually on time and a man of integrity when this other guy is the one that's late and I was willing to uh, appease him all because of using this New York stuff on me. I said, yeah, man, you can't fall for that. If a person don't have integrity with themselves, you got to make them stand on that. You're not a person of integrity. Whereas I'm a person of integrity. I don't BS people that has never BS me. Now, if I encounter with someone that's BSing me, I may BS them back, but eventually I'm just going to be like, nah, because see, I don't want you bringing me out of my character. So instead of me being a low life like they are, I'd rather just say, no arguing, no interaction. I'm just not going to deal with you. It's that simple. See, now I have my peace of mind back. But as long as I keep dealing with them, I'm going to find myself like, man, yo, I can't. I'm a, you know, all kind of distractions in life. I might forget my keys. I might forget a turn when I'm on the road because I'm thinking about these fools. You get what I'm saying, folks? So in closing, that's what I would say right back to the title. Stop BSing people that's, that stop bullshitting people that have never bullshitted you because that truly show you don't respect the fact that someone has shown you respect by doing a favor for you, lending you money, showing up on time, uh, showing that you matter. But then when it comes time for you to show that right back to them, you're giving them all these damn excuses. See, this also touches on another old video of mine. It's called Solidarity. I advise y'all, go to that. Go to my channel, Sphinx for Integrity. Type up Solidarity. Sphinx for Integrity, Solidarity. it come up. Because we all know. Solidarity comes from the word solid, solid together. Now, what does solidarity also means? It means a shared sacrifice. Think about it, shared. We're going to all agree on this together and it's for a better cause. It's like the civil rights. Remember how they crippled the bus company? That's like the only time black folks really, really stuck together and it was powerful and it made a point because they shared solidarity. They understood it's a shared sacrifice. We don't care how far your, your job is, yours is school. If we all have to get our cars together and ride y'all, we'll do it. If we got to walk with you, we'll do it. But we're going to stick together and stick on one solid ground of solidarity together. And that made them powerful. You see what I'm saying? Stick together. So go to that video. Like I said, type in my last my last name, Spinks4, one word, and integrity, and type up solidarity. That video ties in with this video, even though I did that a while ago. Um, so like I said, stop bullshitting people that's never bullshitted you. Because if you keep doing that, it truly shows you don't, nor have you ever respected the fact that they've always shown and given you respect. And therefore, you're a fool if you keep doing that. Subscribe, share, like, and comment. And as always, I'll get more positive videos out to you guys. We need more positivity. Peace. And I apologize for the for the um, profanity, um, like the old words of Malcolm X said, uh, a man only cusses because he does not have the the words to express what he really want to say. Uh, of course, uh, my vocabulary is very extensive. I just wanted to say it that way. So 
if it offended you, I apologize. Um, but I, I wanted to say it that way. You know, stop bullshitting people that it's not bullshitting you. It don't make sense. And on that note, I'm going to let y'all go. Peace.